everyone, it's Catherine from 85th and Pine. And in today's Inkscape video, we're going to be talking about transforming your object and rotating it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this object that I have pulled up right here. As you can see, it's an outline of a dog. So to make it quick and easy, obviously you can move this around as you please, but to rotate it, there are a few ways you can do it. Um, something I learned not right away, actually kind of recently in the last few month, months, which was very helpful to rotate an object, you can simply just double click on it. So I already had it selected. So I just had to click one more time on this. And as you can see, these little arrows, they moved a different way. So originally they were outward like this, but if I click again, now they are rotated. So this is where you can actually manually rotate your object. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag it. And as you can see, it, you can rotate it as much as you want to. Also, a different way you can rotate objects is by going up top right here. There's a few arrows, rotate selection 90 degrees counterclockwise. You can do clockwise or you can flip objects horizontally or vertically as well. So those are the four options they give you right here. So let's just say I wanted to rotate it counterclockwise, then you can do it right here. And same thing with um, flipping them horizontally or vertically. So you can mess around with that if you need to. Another way to change uh, the, the way your object is aligned, you can go to object, and transform down at the bottom right here. And I will drag this box out so you could see it. So the transform box, as you can see, it has horizontal and vertical measurements. I don't use this ever. I actually used this a lot when I first started using Inkscape because I didn't know how else to rotate my objects like I just showed you. Um, so for the longest time I used this, which was not as helpful, but this is a way you can do it by just moving it very, very slightly if you want to. So what I would normally do is go to uh, rotate right here and I would just bump it up whatever degree I wanted it to go. So let's just start at one and you can select rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. So you can select that and just click apply. And as you can see, it moved ever so slightly in that one degree angle. And you could keep doing that if you need to. So you could rotate it like this manually a little bit and just do just a little tiny bit at a time if you need to for a certain reason. And that is in the rotate, obviously, that I'm on right now. But to make it much, much easier, you can just, like I said, double click your image and go ahead and rotate manually. And you can also, uh, it, it's helpful to do this with the objects inside of your object. So my heart and my text right here, there are different objects. They're not all combined into one. So if I wanted to rotate this heart, I could easily do that and put it wherever I want and then click on it again to resize it. And I could copy and paste by going control copy, control C, control V on my keyboard and I could um, switch them around that way and ev even flip this one horizontally to make it the same and I can make it however I really want to. So there's a lot you can do with it. Um, like I said, this one by double clicking, rotating is the quickest way to transform your object by rotating it. So I hope that was a little bit helpful for you. If you have questions, let me know. And as always, if you're interested in buying your own Glowforge machine, please feel free to use my referral code listed in the description box below on where you can get money off. Plus I would get credits too, which me and my family truly, truly appreciate. And if you're interested in um, joining our Facebook group, Students of the Forge, that's also listed in the, the description box below where we share new ideas, projects, and helpful tips. So again, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.